Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vane Wenders and in today's video we're going to be doing a Vogue inspired beauty secrets makeup video. Enjoy! So first things first, my biggest beauty secret is the MAC scrub. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I always just have this everywhere. I have it in my bag. Um, I always apply it before applying makeup or before applying um, my lipstick, lip stain, lip gloss, lip liner, anything to do with my lips. I feel like it always nourishes them and makes the application 60 times better. My beauty secrets for this video is going to be how to get your eyes popping and look like you spent hours on them when you actually spent two minutes. So, um, you're going to help. My skin is really dry, but we first tackle the skin, then we get to the eyes. So, for my skin, I'm using my two lovely bad boys right here. The first one is the face moisturizer thing. Just dabbing it everywhere and just lock it in. Next, I'll be using the oil control sunscreen it literally has SPF 50 I love it it's very good for my skin and I just put that in now that my face is kind of sorted there let's get started with my eyes so I never know the look I'm going for until I'm doing it so I'm gonna start off with a really light neutral. We're just gonna first pack it in and then fade it out. It's always the trick. You pack it in, then you fade it out. Right. Next, I'm gonna go with a deeper color just to fill out the crease right in that area right there just to deepen that crease and then I'm just gonna do that run it out I don't know I'm not good at explaining what I'm doing to my eyes because I ain't a makeup artist, but I just kind of do it and get it going. And don't mind it going too much over here or too much over there because we haven't put our foundation or concealer and all of that will clean out as well as the concealer and everything will clean out any fallout that we may experience. Right, we're going to do the same this side, pack it in and just do that. I don't know, is it just me or do you guys also feel like... One eye is always more difficult than the other. I personally feel like this is the most difficult eye. I never know how to see what I mean. It's already too much. So I have to like hold my eye because it just it wobbles. It does things. To so just hold it there. Pack it in. And just fade it out. Pack it in. And fade it out. So this side is exactly what I want. This side is gorgeous, honey. And just slightly take it up. This side is harsh, but we just blend. The key to success is blending. Now we're going to use a deeper tone to kind of bring it in some more. <laughs> see this one always just looks 10 times better than this one okay now for the favorite part my favorite part the shimmer a bronzy gold shimmer because I don't want to do 
purple and purple and pink. So we're gonna add like a bronzy gold shimmer. Right, now I'm just going to blend it out a little more here and here. Right, let's get right into the face. So I'm just using a damp beauty blender and I'm applying my foundation. Literally takes me three minutes. Let's go. <gasps> So now that my foundation is on, I'm going to be applying some concealer. Right, when did I start contouring? Um, I'm not sure. But contouring does definitely change lives. And it just makes your makeup look cleaner, more flawless, you know. It just has a nice finish to it. So I always contour and highlight every day. <laughs> um, especially highlighting. If I don't contour this highlighting situation right here, I always do because it just it wakes me up, it picks me up, and makes me look 60 times better. So definitely a beauty secret. If you haven't slept in a while, throw on some highlight. Throw on some concealer, I mean, what am I saying? You can just tell how tired I am. <laughs> I personally love this demarcation that I have here, that line. Um, because I can just blend that out nicely, that out there. But I leave this line here. Because it separates my um, eye makeup quite nicely. Okay, let's get on to the contour. By the way, I've noticed something. I rarely um, sit my face anymore, especially in the winter. I don't sit my face because um, with sitting powder, because it doesn't need sitting. You know, I don't. I don't crease as much as I used to. I don't know why. I don't know the secret to that one. But yeah, we're gonna apply my favorite bronzing powder as contour. By Mac, it's called um, Refined Golden. I'm just gonna put the cheeks and do it that way. That way, Sunday. <laughs> small one for the side of my nose but sometimes when I'm in a rush I just use the same one and I use the axis from it and I just apply it up and down the bridge of my nose I'm saying the bridge what is this the sides I don't know and it creates that nice definition we always use the fave. And we just kind of pack it on. Ooh. Yes, honey. And then sometimes I just pinch it like this, apply it to the bridge of my nose. Ha la la. And we are glowing. Yes, we are glowing for the good. We glowing, we glowing. And I always love taking my highlight up just a little, just on top of my eyebrow, just a little bit over there. Um, I learned that secret from what's his name, Mario, um, Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. I learned it from him. Just lightly up. We are going to highlight some very important areas of our face. That is up here 
just underneath the brow. Oh, that put a lot, but we'll dust it out. Just like so. This side as well. Put it in there. Oh my gosh, what's going on? I'm being heavy handed today. But we're going to dust it out. And then a little bit in the inner corners. Just like so. Okay, usually what I do is because I crease under my my lower lash line, I just take the same brush I was using, whatever color that's on there for the top, and I just lightly feather it at the bottom. It kind of acts as, you know, taking away the crease line as well as bringing that color on top down. So it looks like that. Now I know my lashes are looking a little crazy it's because I had some lash extensions and I haven't gone to, you know, fix them up. So that's why I've got like one, two, three, four, five lash extensions left. They just won't come off. So I have to go fix that. So I don't know. I'm looking crazy. But it's all good. We'll just go with it. <laughs> That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was very different for me, very difficult, a little, a little difficult. But I hope nonetheless you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.